So we're going to go ahead and get started. Welcome everybody to University-Based Retirement Living coming to Westchester County. My name is Elizabeth Aloni and I'm with Schneps Media. Schneps Media is the largest local media outlet in New York and we publish over 75 newspapers, magazines, websites, webinars, podcasts, and events throughout Queens, Brooklyn, the Bronx, Manhattan, Westchester, Long Island, and Philadelphia. Today, I'm really thrilled to bring you professionals from Broadview at Purchase College, which is a beautiful campus in Purchase, Westchester. And they're gonna outline the many benefits of repositioning your post-career chapter against the backdrop of a thriving academic environment. You're gonna learn about the synergy of retiring on a college campus. We're gonna discover the amenities, the services and financial structure of a retirement community living and hearing and hear expert advice on choosing the perfect fit for you. So I'm thrilled to be able to introduce to you our panelists who are professionals of Broadview Senior Living. First, I wanna introduce you to Ashley Wade, Ashley is the Director of Marketing at Broadview Senior Living. She's worked in senior living for more than 17 years with communities throughout the Midwest. Most recently, she served as the Executive Director at a senior living facility in Ohio, and she was responsible for all facets of operations of the community. She previously was associated with uh, Friendship Village Columbus Kendall at Granville and Hill Haven Retirement, where she held regional and community marketing director positions, managing the sales and marketing teams and executing advertising and public relations efforts. Ashley holds a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science from Miami University, Oxford, Ohio. She relocated to White Plains, New York from Central Ohio to join the Broadview team. She and her husband and two children are enjoying exploring Westchester and surrounding counties. Welcome, Ashley. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, I'd like to introduce you to Amy Post, who is a residency counselor. Amy has 17 years of senior living experience. She previously served as a director of cultural arts and transitioned into retirement sales counselor at a retirement community in Valhalla, New York. She's a graduate of Pratt Institute in Brooklyn, New York, where she earned a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Jewelry Design, love it, and Sculpture. Amy's a native of Westchester County and lives in North Salem with her husband, two dogs, and Dachshund Sawyer. Welcome, Amy. Thank you. And last but not least, we have Tino, Tina Rayo Whitkoff, who is also a residency counselor. And Tina brings more than 25 years of sales, marketing, and administrative experience to the Broadview team. She previously served as a community sales director at a senior assisted living and memory care facility. She's ex she has experience as a retirement sales counselor at a retirement community in Valhalla, New York. Also, she worked as a director of marketing for a premier home builder in Sarasota, Florida for many years. She earned a Bachelor of Science in Marketing from the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. Tina is also a licensed realtor in Connecticut with William Pitt Sotheby's International Realty and has 12 years of experience. She's originally from Armonk, New York, and currently lives in Newton, Connecticut. Welcome, Tina. Thank you. Nice to be here. So I'm thrilled to turn it over to Amy, Ashley, and Tina, where they can talk to you more about this incredible living opportunity. Thank you so much. Thanks for introducing and um, thanks for allowing us to be here today. We're excited to bring our message about Broadview uh, to a wider audience and tell everyone um, the exciting um, information that we know about this community. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. We have a PowerPoint presentation to go through today, and um, I'm going to share my screen and uh, get started. So I'm gonna ask my colleagues just to let me know that I'm on, that they see my screen and that I have the right one up. Yep, wonderful. Well, we often say that this is the short story of Broadview that we tell in about five chapters and it takes under an hour. So trust me, we're gonna give you a lot of information in a short amount of time. But a couple quick things about the presentation itself. All of the screens that you're gonna be seeing are actual virtual reality of the community itself because we are what they call a blue sky or greenfield community and that we are a concept community that's not yet broken ground. We anticipate that we will break ground sometime early uh, or early 
second quarter 2021, right on the campus of Purchase College, nestled in the heart of Westchester. But right now, um, if you were to go there, you wouldn't see anything at all except natural, just native uh, woodland growing up. So what you're seeing on the screen represents um, the graphic design talents um, and virtual reality of what we believe the community will look like. Um, one other quick thing about the PowerPoint, when you see people in the slides, those are actual charter members. We are 50% reserved already. So those are older adults that have chosen to include Broadview in their retirement future, as well as some younger adults that are actual students at Purchase College. And the backdrop that you will see them in is actually um, different wonderful um, points of interest on the Purchase College campus, including the Newberger Museum and the Performing Arts Center. So with that, we'll get started. This first slide represents what we believe the entrance to the community will look like. The community itself will actually be a continuum of care. So it is, while it is a retirement community, it will function almost like a resort um, experience in that we will have independent living, with all of the amenities and services, which we will go into in greater detail, but to make for an extraordinary life experience. Um, what we're seeing a picture of right here, this actually are the independent living apartments, um, of which there will be two four-story buildings with underground heated reserve parking. Whoops, I'm having a little trouble. There we go. Um, when we take a look at this first slide, just a welcome. Again, those are our charter members enjoying the uh, world-renowned Newberger Museum. When we talk about senior living, um, you know, some of you may have already investigated options or um, experiences that are available in the tri-state area. And for some of you, this may be a brand new topic in which to investigate. But we like to always start out by saying, why Broadview? Uh, people that live within um, New York City and the surrounding counties, you're fortunate in that there are a number of good retirement alternatives. Um, and I'm very fond of saying there's really no bad plan uh, to retirement living, except no plan at all. The best possible advice we could give is to just put a plan of some sort in place for this chapter of your life. And obviously, we're here to talk a little bit about the university-based retirement community that is Broadview at Purchase College. Why do we think Broadview is a special opportunity? Well, if you're not familiar with UBRCs, university-based retirement communities, um, let me tell you that they are really something special indeed. Uh, my background in history is working almost exclusively with UBRCs. And you may have seen us um, featured in the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal, or even um, most recently heard us on NPR, heard about us on NPR. But university-based retirement living is, while it's not new to the senior living um, industry, it is fairly new to the Westchester County market. And Broadview is actually going to be first of its kind university-based retirement community um, for several reasons. Why do we think that's special? Well, UBRCs tend to attract a certain mindset of older adults, someone that really is interested in intergenerational learning, um, continued exposure to arts and culture, and really that, um, that commitment to lifelong learning. Um, so from the very beginning, the people that say yes to Broadview, that say yes to university-based retirement living, um, tend to have that common denominator um, amongst them. Whether, you know, regardless of where they're from, what type of diversity they bring to the community, there will always be that common factor that this is something that they um, enjoy and, and look forward to engaging in. Um, the community itself, like its name suggests, will be located um, right nestled right into the heart of a thriving college campus, um, right on the campus of Purchase. Um, and, and best of all, I think its location lends itself um, to excellence in that you have the best of both. You have 500 beautifully natural, rural, almost idyllic setting, and yet less than 30 miles from New York City. So a quick and easy train ride um, to everything that arguably the best city on earth has to offer. So we think its location alone um, makes Broadview an attractive choice. Um, why is now a good time to be investigating and looking at, at um, this kind of experience? Well, I just mentioned we're, we're just a concept community. We think that we'll break ground sometime in um, second quarter of 2021. 
um, with people moving to the community right near the end of the year of 2022, so just about 24 months from right now. But right now is when we're taking reservations or deposits on those residences. Um, so whether you would like a standalone villa or apartment style living, now's the time to be able to select the residence of your choice. And several benefits come with to those um, who don't wait. You know, they say good things come to those who wait. This is a circumstance where good things surely come to those who don't wait. Um, the deposit that you might make is fully refundable should you change your mind for any reason between now and taking occupancy about 24 months from now. You actually earn interest on that deposit. So it's like an investment in yourself you would be able to take advantage of pre-construction pricing, as well as um, know that you have the peace of mind of a solid plan already put in place. So it's an excellent time to consider um, taking a look at Broadview. Um, I love, happen to love this slide because it shows a couple of our charter members engaging with our Oculus so they can really have that crystal ball experience of seeing what their residence will look like um, even before it's built. Um, Broadview is different than other retirement communities in the area for precisely the reason that I that I mentioned um, that it is a university based retirement community, but it's even Broadview is even different than other university based retirement communities throughout the country for several reasons. And one really um, stems from the story by which Broadview came to fruition. Um, more than a decade ago, the Chancellor of the SUNY system reached out to the then presidents of the different SUNY campuses and asked them to take a look at what types of initiatives they might put in place on their campus, what types of resources they had in abundance at their university that they might be able to leverage towards the long-term financial sustainability of the campus. For the then president, Tom Schwartz, it was a no-brainer. What um, the State University at New York Purchase College had an abundance was the 500 beautiful acres of Westchester County real estate. And what they came up with that they could do to both um, secure the financial stability of the college, but in same time advance the mission of the college itself was to create a senior learning experience. They really wanted to be able to embrace the ideals and the mission and the vision of the college of intellectual pursuits and cultural competency, but expand the audience beyond the typical college age 18 to 22 year old. And that really came to fruition or came uh, was that that dream request was answered through the envisioning of a senior retirement community right on the campus. And so the then president um, Tom Schwartz took a sabbatical for a year and actually looked at other university-based retirement living across the country and found what did he think was working well and where were their areas for improvement and really began to consider that one of the things that could set Broadview apart would be to have a building that was constructed from its very first brick for co-curricular activities for students of the campus as well as residents of the retirement community, a space that they could share and call their own. And that brought to um, brought forth the idea of something called the learning commons. Broadview will be the first of its kind in the country to offer this kind of experience of a, of a facility or a space that has both learning spaces, performance spaces, maker spaces, culinary arts spaces, where residents of the community, as well as students of the campus, will be able to connect and learn together. Um, some features of this space that we call the Learning Commons, um, and this is a, a rendering of what we believe this space will look like. It will have a cafe for formal and informal gatherings, as well as cooking classes um, and anything culinary that you can imagine. Um, intergenerational learning set settings, uh, inclusive of um, a film room for photo uh, editing and, and film design, movement studios for classes on dance and um, other kinds of physical endeavors, um, gaming spaces, exhibition and presentation spaces, uh, performance areas. As you may know, Purchase College is home to several conservatories of dance, music, performance arts, and studio arts. So we have all these burgeoning artists of every different discipline that um, will enjoy having a built-in audience and areas in which they can interact as well as perform together. Um, 
Tom Schwartz was, was fond of saying that he believed it was a home run all around because university-based retirement communities offer that great synergy that comes when you bring the wisdom, lifetime professional experience of older adults with those new students that are just learning skills and embarking on their own careers. And when you bring those two constituencies together, great things can happen for both. So there's a lot of win-win in this, in this kind of circumstance. A few details about Purchase College, where Broadview will be located. Um, it is home to the Newberger Museum of Art, um, which you may be familiar, is um, a world-renowned um, gallery that's home to uh, modern, contemporary, and African art, as well as the Performing Arts Center, which in non-COVID time um, is happy to be host to over 200,000 um, participants annually as through regional national and international performers um, take stage. There is the library that's located on the campus of SUNY Col of Purchase College that has access to the entire SUNY system. So residents of Broadview will have literally at their fingertip um, a world-class library system um, just, just steps away from their residences. Um, endless perform performance spaces in addition to the Performing Arts Center and almost all of the academic building. It is, uh, SUNY College is uh, Purchase College is ranked as a Division III um, athletic uh, college, so you would be able to take part as a, as a spectator in everything from volleyball to uh, swim meets, lacrosse, and more, and, and many, many opportunities for volunteering on the campus, from in the library to the child care center to being a mentor to students. Um, a few things also about Purchase College for folks that aren't, uh, aren't aware. It is ranked as one of the top 10 public liberal arts colleges in the country. Um, and just several other things you can see on the slides here. But what I've come to know about the Purchase College campus is that it is a thriving, diverse ap academic center. And we've been happy to host, even right here in our sales center, um, several students as interns and learned firsthand um, what they bring to the table, which is quite a lot. So um, a, a little bit of the history about, because it is interesting that there would be a university-based retirement community being, op um, being opened on the campus of a state university. Very often you see this on private colleges across the country. Um, but another thing that the visionary of Tom Schwartz, the immediate past president, um, had was the, the, the idea of starting this community on a state campus brought some additional challenges in terms of bringing it to fruition. Um, so one thing that happened was that it had to have actual legislative approval. It had to go through the process of having the state legislature take a look at it and say, well, this is how we'll make this endeavor um, you know, come to be. And there were several three caveats that they that they put forth. The first was that um, the way in which it would operationally um, make sense would be for the campus and the retirement communities to be separate from a financial perspective. And that would mean that the retirement community, Broadview, will lease the state land that it will be located on from the campus and the payment of that lease um, annually, that revenue that the college would appreciate would had to be earmarked for two things. 75% of it would go to student scholarship, 25% of it would then go to faculty and staff recruitment and retention. So it was a way for the community be, to be located on the college campus and yet at the same time provide essential resources to the college for student scholarship and faculty and staff support. The second thing that the, um, that the legislative action said was that because it was on state land, that it would, um, that, that they would make certain that there were 20% of the residences would be offered at a below market rate. So make um, this opportunity for this excellence in retirement living to be available to a wider portion of the community. So there are actually 20% of the residences that are made available to those people in the community that are at or below 80% of the median income for Westchester County. So it's exciting to have a, a world-class retirement living experience made available to a greater number of people in the community. 
And the third thing that they said was that, that the legislature said was that the community itself really needed to be governed by a not-for-profit entity that would be the sponsor for the community. That not-for-profit entity is called Purchase Senior Learning Community, Inc., and it's made up of several senior um, position, uh, uh, the president, the provost, and the CFO from the college, and then several other professionals from the greater Westchester area. And that board of volunteer trustees would oversee the development and the governance of the community itself. So it really is a true partnership between the state of New York, the College of per the Purchase College and Broadview uh, Retirement Community. One of the first things that that independent, not-for-profit board of directors said was, well, we need to find someone that will develop the campus for us, will develop the retirement community. So they did a, a national request for proposal and many senior living industry experts applied, different systems applied, and the one that they selected was life care services. Life care services is out of Des Moines, Iowa, and they are the second largest uh, senior living development systems in the country. They've been around for almost 50 years. They are um, partners in over 150 communities nationwide in 31 states and annually responsible for the retirement experiences for over, over 40,000 residents. So we really believe that um, Purchase Senior Learning Community, Inc. made a great choice in selecting Life Care Services as their development partner that would then develop the community and serve as the manager or for operations once the community was up and running. So if we now migrate into the, the chapter three of this story, a little bit about the history, a little bit about a bit about what makes Broadview different. Now we're going to enter into chapter three, which is what I call the sticks and bricks or the actual um, physical layout of the community itself. What will it actually be when it comes to fruition? What we're looking at now in this slide is a bird's eye view of the 500 acre Purchase College campus. And you can see the brown buildings on the slide represent those academic areas. Um, um, all of the classroom space, as well as um, number 26 here, that represents the Performing Arts Center, number 23, the Newberger Museum, 10 to 24 and 13 represent these other um, dormitory um, housing for students. And I point all those spaces out because if you look into the upper left-hand corner of the slide, you can see these are the 40 acres that will be purchased college, or I'm sorry, Broadview community itself. And you can see that the Broadview community apartment buildings right here, these two U-shaped buildings, they're as close to the academic center and heart of the campus as are some of the residential housing for the students themselves. When we take a little closer look to just those 40 acres that will be the Broadview community, if we start at the left-hand side, you can see these are the villas. These are part of the 220 independent residences. These, the villas start out at just under 2,000 square feet, go to just over 2,000 square feet, all have two car attached garages and all come with private yards. In the middle of the slide, you see the 11 acre forever green, Broadview green, complete with walking and riding trails. This is a green space that offers a park-like setting right in the middle of the Broadview community. Moving further to the right, you can see that we have the two U-shaped apartment buildings that will be home to 174 apartment style living that includes 10 different floor plans ranging in size from 675 square feet to just under 2000 square feet. The apartment buildings come with underground heated reserve parking um, and contiguous um, accessibility to the clubhouse itself. The clubhouse will be home to all of our amenities and common spaces, including an indoor swimming pool, five dining venues, um, a, a convenience store, spa, salon, woodworking shop, and so much more. The coral space here to just adjacent to the clubhouse represents that 10,000 square foot learning commons that I spoke about earlier. That will be the co-curricular space for students and residents to enjoy um, all kinds of endeavors together. And the lavender color, colored building in the upper right hand corner of the slide um, th that displays our 
the health center portion of our community that will be home to our assisted living, enhanced assisted living, which is much like skilled nursing, memory care, our um, physician office, as well as all of our therapies, including speech, occupational, and physical therapy. The next slide represents what we believe the exterior of our buildings will look like, true to the Northeast um, kind of style of architecture of clapboard and stone. They'll have natural appointments that will make it look like just part of the neighborhood. Again, our residences will be comprised of um, 46 apartment homes and 174 uh, or I'm sorry, 174 apartment homes and 46 villas that are both duplex and standalone. The next slide represents, um, kind of shows us what a bird's eye view would look like with all of the natural vegetation that will be in place. So when I talked earlier about how great it was to be yet less than 30 miles from New York City, and yet also nestled right into a beautifully natural setting, lots and lots of old growth, um, century trees will be part and parcel of the landscape. As we begin to take a look at individual parts of the community, this oval at the top of the screen represents those 46 villas, separated then there by the 11 acre green space, the two arrows pointing to the apartment buildings, both four stories with two elevators per building. The middle oval represents that uh, clubhouse as well as the learning commons. The final arrow represents that health center and the oval at the bottom of the screen represents the only building that's in existence today and that's the actual administration building to the campus itself. I'm going to we're going to take a look at several renderings of several of the buildings on campus and take a little bit of a deeper dive in terms of what will happen within those buildings. This slide represents um, the clubhouse itself. So you can see a beautiful stone two story building with a porter cocher covered entry into the main um, entryway into the clubhouse. A level plan or schematic of the clubhouse itself, and you can see all of the different amenities that will be available in the common space. A fitness center, salon and spa, swimming pool, the learning commons, game room, library, convenience store, and so much more. A rendering of what um, the, those learning commons will look like in the great hall that will be home to both informal and formal gatherings. It can be set up theater style to house the entirety of the Broadview community or more informally like this where you can imagine students and residents alike engaging in all kinds of endeavors. A slide that shows us what the uh, main lobby will look like where the full-time concierge will sit waiting to take uh, to, make, to make all kinds of plans and arrangements for our residents as well as the receptionist and an informal gathering space. A view from the north side of the clubhouse that shows the outdoor dining, a small amphitheater here in the middle of the screen that's even juxtaposed to some exterior performance space where you can imagine students of Purchase College um, you know, beginning to show off some of their um, skills that they're gaining through their experiences in one of the conservatories. A picture of the indoor swimming pool, perfect for some lap swimming or even recreational or aqua aerobics. Just outside the swimming pool, you, if we had the ability, you, would, you could see that there's a, a raised fitness floor for weather permitting wonderful space for um, maybe Tai Chi or outdoor um, yoga. Second story of the commons, of the, uh, of the clubhouse and learning commons include the five different dining venues, inclusive of a private dining room, uh, an actual pub and lounge, central dining space, and wonderful destination dining that will be home to, um, that, that has access to the actual back of the kitchen where you'll see chef prepared meals, table side demonstrations, all kinds of wonderful culinary experiences, and a state of the art theater. Here are some renderings that show what we believe, what the dining rooms will actually look like with beautiful vaulted ceilings and panoramic views of the campus itself. A hearthside dining room complete with fireplace and wine room. This is, a, this is an actual snapshot of a couple of our charter members in the Performing Arts Center. Uh, knowledge comes from learning what we hope we're doing today and wisdom comes from living what we believe will happen on the campus of, of the Broadview uh, retirement community. 
I'm going to ha hand it over now to my uh, one of my colleagues, Amy Post, who's going to talk about the services and amenities that Broadview residents will enjoy. Thank you, Ashley. Um, so Ashley's gone over the sticks and bricks of Broadview and what Purchase College has to offer. What I'm going to go over are all the services and amenities that are included while you're living at Broadview and included in the monthly fee. And then I will go over some pricing. Um, Broadview will have multiple dining venues for you to enjoy from everything from a cozy hearth dining room to a uh, destination dining where you'll have tasting menus and um, uh, culinary classes and uh, grab and go. So if you wanna grab something quick and head over to campus to audit a class, you can do so. Um, fitness and wellness center. So a state of the art cardio and strength training room, movement space and outdoor movement space. And we'll even have fitness coordinator who will help you achieve set any goals you have um, and achieve them. And as well as there'll be classes, aquatic classes and Pilates, yoga, Tai Chi, all kinds of fitness classes. Um, heated indoor pool for your enjoyment and exercise. You know, if you get tired of taking all those classes, everyone loves a little pampering. Broadview will have the convenience of having a spa and salon, massage therapy, and getting your hair cut and nails done. Um, multimedia library. So, bro Purchase College has a wonderful library. Um, you also have access to the whole SUNY system library, but Broadview will have a place where you can catch up on emails. And again, a nice cozy setting, read a book, catch up on emails, um, all those good things. And then the convenience store for your convenience, just to grab something and head on out to whatever activity you wanna be doing. So again, these different services are um, all included in the monthly fee. So Broadview has a dining program. You have a full kitchen. So you'll have a beautiful kitchen. If you love to cook, go on, keep on cooking. But Broadview has a, a dining plan that is included in the monthly fee. It will be a dining dollar amount. And that amount hasn't been exactly determined, but in our experience, most residents eat at a community about 24 to 26 times in a month. And that is what is included in that. And it's yours to use how you want. So you can either uh, dine every night in the dining room or um, uh, if you're a light eater, it might last you longer because you're having soup and salad. It could last you, you know, more than the 26 meals in a month. If you were having lobster and steak, it might last you less than that. Um, you can invite guests and use it that way, there's a private dining room that you could have a private party and use your dining allotment. You could go to the pub and drink it all if you choose. So it's up to you how you want to use it. It's like a discretionary fund. Included in your monthly fee is weekly housekeeping. So we'll have a, um, you'll have a housekeeper who gets to know how you like to keep your home. You have a washer and dryer in every residence. So they will remove your sheets, they'll wash them, dry them, put them back on your bed, remake your bed, wash and dry your towels and put them away. Maintenance, if you're one of those people who have been living in an apartment or condo or home for a long time, maintenance can be super cumbersome. So we include that, that's on us. So if any appliances break, that's our responsibility. Snow removal, leaf removal, cleaning gutters, all those good things, it's our responsibility to keep the community looking fresh and, and well-kept. And um, if you're gardening, it's because you wanna be gardening. Utilities, you have the convenience of writing one monthly check and all of the utilities are included except for telephone. So Wi-Fi, basic cable, heating, cooling, you control your own residence, the heat, you know, heating and cooling, all included in the monthly fee. For your ease, we have a transportation. So while you may still be driving and have a car or maybe two cars, um, there is underground, there is reserved parking 
Um, but we have transportation as well. So for shopping trips, going to um, Wegmans and Whole Foods and Trader Joe's and Bloomingdale's, La Westchester, all those great locations nearby, uh, we have transportation for that, as well as medical appointments and even cultural events. So if you're headed into the city um, or going up to Storm King for a docent led tour, that's uh, included in your monthly fee. And we'll also have shuttle service going to Metro North for your convenience. Um, if you love to bike ride, we have uh, bike parking. The campus is wonderful. It's a terrific three mile loop, lots of uh, space to move around there. Also, all of the residences have really large walk-in closets, but you have the convenience for those seasonal items and holiday items, a storage area on every floor that you would lock in and is for you. Um, services for your well-being. So you're coming into the community and you're healthy and doing wonderful and we want to keep you that way. But if you should have some sort of a procedure planned or even unforeseen occurrence, um, we have a healthcare navigator and it's an invaluable service. That is someone who is there as your advocate. They will help you with navigating uh, medical claims, long-term health insurance policy, if you have one, um, securing medical devices, helping you figure out if you have some kind of a hospital stay, what does that care look like when you come back to the community? Is it a short stay in assisted living or is it finding a, a home health aid to assist you in your own residence? Um, that's what they're there for. And it's really, it's invaluable. We have a walk-in clinic for things like flu shots and blood pressure screening. Um, if you're not feeling well, someone there to answer whether you should go see your primary care or take two aspirins and uh, go home and get some rest. Um, and in addition, we would have doctors. So you keep your doctors that you love, but we'll have um, ophthalmologists and podiatrists and uh, internal medicine or all those type of providers there at Broadview. So it's very convenient to be able to see someone should you need to. Assisted living and memory care. So we have 36 private suites of each. Um, as a Broadview resident, you have priority access into assisted living or memory care. And in addition, you get 10 days annually included in your monthly fee, as well as a 10% discount on anything above that. Um, and the Healthy Lifestyle Program, that is really, it's our commitment to keep you healthy and engaged intellectually, socially, physically, um, spiritually, every which way we, we're there to um, assist you with just keeping living life to its fullest. The medical alert system, again, just peace of mind of knowing that there's somebody there to respond. It's peace of mind for you. It's peace of mind for your family to know that there's somebody there to respond to you should you press the pendant. They'll help you figure out you know, what's going on and, and what kind of care you might need. We're getting there. <laughs> We like to keep it suspenseful, the pricing part. Um, so there are two costs associated with living at Broadview. There is a one-time entry fee. That entry fee is 90% refundable. So whether you're living at Broadview for two years or 25 years, that original investment of your entry fee goes back to you if you leave the community let's say you have kids and they go move out to arizona and you decide to go follow them 90 percent goes back to you if you live your lifetime at the community it's going to go back to whomever you name as your beneficiaries the second cost is the monthly fee and that includes all of those wonderful services and amenities so the dining program weekly housekeeping, maintenance, transportation, the healthcare navigator, fitness classes, um, classes in the learning commons, all the utilities, all of those things are included in the monthly fee. The entry fees start at $250,000 and is 90% refundable. And the monthly fees start at 3,400. Now I know you're looking at this and you're not seeing those prices, um, as Ashley mentioned, we have that wonderful option for those who are income qualified of the below market rate residents. Uh, Tina, Ashley, and myself are all happy to talk to you about that option. That uh, starts for a single person 
a single occupancy of 250,000 with a monthly of 3,400. The market rate residences start in the 600s and go up from there because we have 14 different floor plans and it depends on the size. So those start at 600,000 and go up from there. Again, 90% refundable. The monthly starts at 4,300 and goes up from there. And there is a second person fee of $1,500. So I'm gonna turn it over to my associate, Tina, and she'll take it from there. Thank you so much. Thanks, Amy. Hi, everybody, again. Uh, you heard a lot today about Broadview and uh, Purchase College and Life Care Services. And if you liked a little bit about what you heard, um, or a lot, we uh, encourage you to reach back out to us, or maybe you know somebody um, that also might be interested. But again, we encourage you to reach out uh, and we can arrange for an appointment. We can do that via phone um, or arrange for a Zoom meeting or come and visit us here in the Information Center uh, in Rye Brook, New York. And of course, we take all the necessary precautions. But once we do connect, um, it's a great way for you to ask your own personal questions. Um, even if you would like a brochure sent to you, we can do that as well. But it's really important for us to talk to you um, directly because everyone's needs uh, and goals are different, of course. So we'll review all of the floor plans that you heard about today and those corresponding entrance fees and monthly fees um, and see what's a good fit for your lifestyle and your next chapter. And we'll talk about the residency agreement. That is what's signed um, at time of deposit. Um, this is not a real estate transaction, so there is no um, transfer of deed. Um, it is what we call a right to occupy or a lease agreement. And it spells out really everything you heard today, um, everything about Broadview and the services and amenities, as well as the relationship with the college um, and life care services. And then we'll talk to you about those steps to reserve um, your residence. You know, that exact apartment or villa is taken out of inventory and does become yours. And uh, again, that deposit is always fully refundable and will earn interest all the way until move in. Uh, the next few slides too are, are taken from one of our virtual reality tours. So we have three um, different options uh, to share with you if you're able to come and visit us here. We have virtual reality tours of the exterior. So it feels as if we're driving you through the community. So you can get a really wonderful feel of um, the surroundings and orientation. If you have a specific view or orientation to, to sun, um, that's important to you. So we can really pinpoint um, a wonderful spot for your apartment or villa. Uh, we also have tours of each of the apartments and villas, so each um, interior. So it feels like we're actually walking you through each of the floor plans. So that's always um, very, very helpful in, in learning and pinpointing what's your best, uh, best suited for your needs. And then also of the uh, tours of the interior of the uh, clubhouse and the learning commons. Um, so it's really wonderful to see all of um, the different opportunities there. Uh, within the clubhouse and learning commons. So at set planning, which is at groundbreaking, we'll sit down with each of our uh, charter members, those that have deposited, and we'll be able to um, pick out and, and make it yours with different furnishings, uh, finishes rather. So you can pick from wonderful design selections for flooring and cabinetry, countertops, um, and again, make it yours. The apartments that are on the first floor, um, you'll see a door there that, that exits out. Um, first floor apartments would have a covered patio and the second, third, and fourth floor uh, apartments would have a covered um, balcony. Uh, this is our Harrison model, another two bedroom. The one prior to it was our Katona. We only have two out of the eight that were available left. This is a Harrison, another well-configured apartment too. Um, you'll see here it has a nice uh, natural gas fireplace and some built-in, so nice way to really personalize your own apartment. And lastly here, just a, a shot of one of the, uh, the bedrooms, main bedroom or secondary bedroom, all of the ensuite baths as well as the uh, main baths or uh, ensuite main baths or secondary baths. You can personalize those as well. Um, each again will have nine foot ceilings and tall windows. So lots of light no matter what, uh, where your apartment or villa is located. These are two of the uh, 14 floor plans. So if you have not visited uh, the website yet, it is broadviewseniorliving.org. And if you go to the top right-hand corner, you can click on uh, the green square, the, the uh, hamburger there, 
and uh, scroll down to independent living. And if you go all the way down to that page, all of the floor plans are available. So there's 10 apartments and there's four villas to choose from. The villas, uh, there's a handful that also have an opportunity for a walkout uh, basement. So they are all there for you to look at and really study. Um, all are one level living. Um, within each floor plan, there's a wonderful tool called iFloor Plan, which lets you drag and drop different pieces of furnishings into each of these floor plans. And again, just another wonderful tool to um, see what's the best fit for you. So when you do deposit, uh, you become one of our wonderful charter members. Um, although our, our doors are not physically open, of course, you can still um, enjoy all of the benefits that are available. Um, it's just a great way that the community is really blossoming, relationships are building, and there's numerous ways to meet your neighbors now. We have monthly uh, update meetings with all the charter members. We have Friday coffees at 11. You can pop on for 15 minutes or, or sometimes they tend to run about an hour and a half now. No one wants to get off. Um, when you do deposit, you will get a purchase college ID, a photo ID, so you can get onto campus when everything is back to normal, quote unquote, uh, and an email address. So you can get firsthand uh, opportunities of all the, the webinars and, and seminars that are available through the college, as well as, uh, of course, Broadview. Um, you know, we have great opportunities that are uh, unfolding now. We just, we have a, a Broadview book club there's also um, a book club through the college uh, that's available. Uh, we have a lecture series. One of our uh, charter members is a professor at the, at the college, and he just led up a wonderful um, lecture series on uh, poetry. So again, they get great uh, attendance. So just another way to take advantage while we're all remote and get to learn uh, who your neighbors are. And of course, it's still pre-construction pricing. We are... Um, the, the price increase is starting January 1st. Uh, so all the prices are going up 3%. Some of the floor plans are already sold out. So if you are considering now is a great time, uh, the interest, I'm sorry, the uh, deposit is always fully refundable and it will earn 2% interest all the way until move in. So hope to hear from you soon. Back to you, Ash. Love the fact that the pandemic is going on, but we have had some of our 125 charter members, um, households talk to us about um, they felt better connected now than they did before because they're so engaged with their neighbors who they may not have met physically, but certainly have met through the, the many, many offerings that we're already offering. So if this has been interesting to you, we would love to hear your questions um, and wrap things up now. Um, you know, with your thoughts and perspectives and, and questions, but also if, if anything that you heard here today resonated, feel free to reach out to us and certainly do refer a friend. Information for us, I believe this will live on the Schneps website, so our information on how to contact us will be readily available, as well as we always end before we stop sharing with a, just a quick picture of us so you know that we are more than just our shoulders up. Um, so we would, we would love to, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop share now, we would love to answer questions and um, certainly connect with you if you're interested in Broadview or just retirement living um, in general. We, we love, love this industry and love to help older adults with this next chapter. So fantastic. That was really wonderful. It, what a spectacular place with <laughs> everything you could want in the most beautiful surroundings I've been to purchase and it is spectacular. So thank you for all that. We do have some wonderful questions I would love to um, ask of you. Sure. So um, Ingrid had a question. She said, wow, about everything. And she wanted to know, is there going to be a part-time living arrangement possible, say six months of the year? So um, the answer to the question is probably no. Um, we have lots of snowbirds for sure who've already signed up or people that I think are even crazier than leaving New York to go south in the winter. Those people that live in New York through the winter and then go north in the summer. But um, we do, we certainly have people that will be living part time, but from a financial perspective, there isn't any type of um, altered contract. You do recognize um, some credit for your meal credit, but you're not able, but, there, but the monthly fees do continue. Great. Thank you for that. She also wanted to know if an amenities would include far infrared sauna. She said this is so very therapeutic. So, so I'm not familiar with that. that. I don't think that's being thought of now, but I would tell Ingrid to come be a charter member and tell us about it so we could consider it. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a great idea. 
Um, Catherine has a question. If you want to do a degree program at Purchase, can you? Amy, you want to take that one? Sure, yeah. So you, um, by all means, you certainly can if you'd like to do that. You can audit classes. Um, it is $50 per class per semester for auditing a class. And then Broadview itself will have lots of classes in the learning commons, probably a shorter, you know, maybe an eight week course or something like that, six weeks, eight weeks. But um, by all means, if you want to go full tilt and uh, have get a degree in something, you are more than welcome to. Yeah. Wonderful. One of the incredible benefits of being right there on a college Absolutely. campus. Absolutely. Spectacular. Um, Catherine wanted to know, actually this question has come about from several people, but when will the first residents be move in? When can people move in? That's what we keep getting is the question. Yeah. Tina, you want to take that? Sure. Um, as Ashley had mentioned, the groundbreaking will be um, the beginning of first quarter or um, actually end of first quarter, beginning of second quarter. And build out will be about 12 to 18 months. So we foresee the first residents actually moving in um, the end of 2022. So it will be a staggered move in, but the whole community will be finished at the same time. So you can move in and then go to dinner uh, at one of the dining venues that evening. So it's not gonna be done in phases, which is nice. You won't be in a construction zone. Um, so you can enjoy it on day one. That is nice. You can jump right in and enjoy mm -hmm. it. Wonderful. Um, we had another question. Can you rent your unit out? So if um, someone was thinking about this, she said she's a bit too young right now, um, so it's a bit premature, but she would love to be able to secure a place for the future. So could she buy it and then rent it out until she was ready? So, so we don't allow the, the residency agreement specifically states there's no subletting. Um, but I would tell that person 62 is our is what we call our basement age. Those are our, those are our babies. Um, and I would say that, you know, if you're approaching 62, then certainly consider it because we have a lot of people that are in that cohort of that very, very young, young retirement living age. Many, many people in our charter member list already. In fact, we have several people that have signed that are not yet 62, but will turn 62 before it's time for move in. So that's how young the community is. Now, is there, this is a question as well, is there an age requirement? Is the minimum 55 or is it 62? 62, 62. Okay. And with there's, if it's a couple, um, only one of the two people has to meet that requirement. So if you're a couple and one of you is 62 and the other is younger, then you could both come, but at least one person has to be 62. And there is no upper age limit. We will have just lots and lots of, you know, uh, folks that live, I'm sure, well into their hundreds. And it seems like this type of environment is the type that really allows you to live longer, having your brain and your body and all of this so in great. I mean, That's what right. better way to assure that you're around as long as possible? Yeah, there are actually um, several leading studies um, that suggest that, that people that live in retirement living communities like this, they really do um, tend to live longer and healthier lives and they live independently longer. So, I mean, it's like the trifecta. If you, if you think about aging, it's like the trifecta, the things you want. You wanna live the healthiest, you wanna live the longest, and you wanna live all by yourself the longest. And so if you want those things, retirement living is for you. Yeah, this abs absolutely makes sense. Um, TJ wants to know, can you have your grandchildren spend the summer with you at your residence? Amy, you wanna take that one? Yeah, sure. So um, you are permitted to have guests stay with you. Um, I don't know about the entire summer. Um, my understanding, Ashley, am I correct that it's a sort of like a 30 day period is the maximum amount of time. Um, and the reason is, is, you know, for the sake of the community and also um, to help you. So in case there's someone you don't want staying with you forever, <laughs> <laughs> You've got an out. <laughs> the community <laughs> says so. So um, 30 days is really the, the maximum amount of time. But by all means, you can have guests staying in your residence and we have guest suites as well. So um, and I, oh, I would yeah. chime in there that um, just because I know that in a previous life at another community, it's 30 days in your residence. And that's really what Amy was talking about. Sometimes in, in retirement living, no one likes to think about this, but occasionally you have circumstances where you have 
you know, circumstances just where someone might come and, and you have difficulty having them leave your, your, your residence. So it's 30 days in your residence is the maximum. But if you wanted to rent this, the, um, reserve the guest suite for the entire summer, there's a fee that's associated with that, but you would be welcome to do that. I don't believe there's going to be a limit on that. So. And what is that guest suite? Can you talk about that a little bit? Is it a, is it a, like a hotel room or? Sure. Tina, you want to take that? Yeah, I believe uh, it's not, I don't think it's a full hotel. Well, it's like a hotel room, but not a full apartment. So, but again, you can take advantage of, of using the amenities of the community. Um, if you're, of course, there's a, a family member there or a friend, then and if they want to, you know, invite you to the dining, one of the dining venues, you know, that charge could be put onto that residence uh, monthly charge. So it'll be beautiful. I'm sure it'll be nicer than any, uh, uh, hotel or motel that's available in the area and probably at a better uh, price too. So it's wonderful to have it right there uh, on location for you. So, which is nice when you're trying to pick out an apartment um, or a villa and some people think they need that second bedroom or a third bedroom just for guests, but it's nice, you know, you don't really need that then when they could stay right at one of the guest suites. Wonderful. Um, we just got a question about what about pets? We haven't talked about pets, are they allowed? So, my dog is at my feet right now. I have a rescue beagle. If he wasn't sleeping, I'd pick him up and put him in the frame so you could see him. But Broadview will surely be very pet friendly. Um, we find that most, you know, healthiest communities are those communities that really try to, to meet every resident's need, whatever that is and their desire and let them be as autonomous and independent as you are if you're living in, you know, in the outside world. And so surely pets will be, um, we already have a number of charter members that we've already been introduced to their four-legged friends, um, cats and dogs. Um, but we, it should also be stated that while we will surely have a dog run and while they will be very, very welcome addition to the community, we are also sensitive to those people that are not as pet friendly. And so there will be regulations in place regarding leash laws. So there won't just be dogs and cats running free around the community. They will be well-respected and well-respectful members of the community for sure. Wonderful, best of both worlds. Uh, Charlotte wanted to know, does long-term care insurance cover senior living at Broadview? Yeah, Amy? Sure. Um, so what you need to look at is your policy, your declaration policy. Usually for long-term insurance to kick in, you have to ha meet some requirements of need uh, for active daily living. So certainly in assisted living and memory care, if your policy has provisions for that, then by all means, yes. How it usually works is that you pay for the services and then you get reimbursed by the long-term insurance agency. Um, policy that you have, but uh, generally independent living is not something that they would cover because it's just like being in an apartment or a home. They wouldn't cover that either. Thank you for making that distinction. <laughs> Mimi wants to know, what is the smoking policy? Tina? Sure, we are a smoke-free campus as well as Purchase College too, so Unfortunately, no smoking, or fortunately, no smoking um, at Broadview. Another reason why you'll live longer, Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, Julia wants to know, when you have a second person who's living with you in an apartment, a spouse, or is there an additional cost? Yeah. So this, the second person fee is a flat $1,500. So $1,500. So whatever the monthly fee is, if there's a second person, you just add on that second person fee um, and that becomes part of the monthly fee. Um, but like mo all the monthly fees, those will go up annually. And I bring this up even though no one has asked yet, although maybe they will, but because I think it's an important thing to think about that um, you would, I know this sounds kind of contrary to common thought, but you would want to know that those fees will go up because that's part and parcel with knowing a couple of things that we anticipate and intend to keep the community looking as fresh and bright and beautiful and brand new as it did the day that you moved in, as well as the number one indicator on the kind of experience that you will have in your community is often relative to the service that you receive, whether it's from the concierge at the front desk or the line workers in the, um, you know, in the back of the kitchen or the housekeepers that come into your apartment or villa every week. And you want to, we want to retain and keep the very, very best um, service um, help and, and uh, employees. And we need to be able to reward them year over year with increases. So the second person fee is $1,500 right now. January 1st, 
it moves to $1,550, and that fee will go up annually. Terrific, thank you. Um, what if, with the villas, TJ wants to know, do they have backyards? I believe you did address this, but. Yeah, Amy, you wanna take that? They, they do, they have, um, so we would be able to share with you, um, if you were considering Broadview, we would share the virtual experience of it. We can literally drive you around. Um, I was doing that with someone this morning via Zoom, where um, we had a Zoom call and I just faced my laptop towards our VR screen and drove them around so they could pick out which villa they wanted. And so there are all of the um, residences have all the villas have um, some yard behind them. It's not a two acre backyard, but you have some space and they all have uh, multiple um, patios as well. So that, yeah, there's lots of room. Terrific. And as you mentioned, you have people who are taking care of it for you. So you can have right. outdoor space and not have to worry about your outdoor space. Who wants two acres at this point? Um, Carol, oh, Carol wanted to know, so what is your status in ter terms of ownership? Do you don't own your apartment? Is it, how does that status work? Yeah, Tina, you want to take that? Sure, there is, um, we don't have actual ownership, so it's not a real estate transaction. It's, uh, as I mentioned, it's a right to occupy agreement, which is very similar to a lease agreement. So it spells out, again, everything about the services and amenities that you heard today, um, as well as relationship with the college and, and life care services. So um, although you don't own it, it is definitely yours, of course, while you're there at the community. Um, if you need to um, move, um, there is always a 90% refundable um, entrance fee at any time and when we resell the apartment or villa, but we cannot hold your entrance fee or that refund for longer than 24 months. And I will just jump in and follow up a tiny bit on that just to say that for many people that are not familiar with senior living, this whole idea of a residency agreement, um, because it's not rental, it's not owning, it's not a co-op, it's not a lease, it's its own type and, and even the state of New York, you know, sees that and they classify us in our own classification because Tina mentioned it's not a real estate transaction. So if you've not looked at senior living, this might seem very, very strange, but know that this is very frequently, this is not just a broad view specific, but this is a very common way in which the, the uh, residential agreement is satisfied in senior living. And so that's something that if you have specific questions about it, we would love to send you a copy of the residency agreement so you could read with your own eyes and see exactly how finite um, that relationship is how that residence really is yours all the benefits of occupying decorating changing doing whatever you would like to it personalizing it for you which makes it a little different than rental and yet none of the hassle like property taxes or increased costs and in maintenance none of those are your burden nice um, TJ wants to know speaking about uh, maintenance um, does meet the maintenance fee increase on an annual basis yeah, so that's what I was talking about earlier. I think I said monthly fee, which isn't, I think most people think of that as a maintenance fee, but those are one and the same. So yeah, that will go up every year. Very good. And Mimi wants to know, is there a noise policy? So sanitation, lawnmowers, <laughs> noise at night. She's already picturing sleeping there and- That's right, we like that. Amy, you wanna take that? Uh, so, you know, it is a community, so there are people do need to be respectful. There is a resident handbook. Um, so, you know, everyone would need to adhere to the resident handbook, and I'm sure um, that will include some um, <clears throat> uh, rules and regulations about noise. The construct, it's new construction. Every effort has been made it for sound mitigation from the um, thickness of the windows to, you know, uh, insulation and the flooring and how it's all designed is all to minimize and, and reduce, um, you know, all sound. So it looks spectacular. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It's so nice to have that opportunity, these renderings that feel alive and be able to really see what it's going to be. Yeah. Is spectacular. Um, so do you have time for one more question? I know that we're running a little bit long, but I would love to be able to um, 
answer a couple more questions that we have, that's okay. Sure. Great. I don't think we're in a rush, so that's up to you. Good, good, good. <laughs> so um, we had a question, are there any tax advantages to senior living and how does this, if it's not a real estate transaction, how does that impact or does it, how does it impact your taxes? Yeah, Tina, you wanna take that one? There, are, luckily there's no um, taxes involved um, and then it's, it doesn't have anything to do with the market fluctuations too. So it doesn't matter, you know, if the market goes down or goes up, what your entrance fee um, was, uh, that is what you get 90% back. Um, but again, no, no taxes, no New York state taxes. So you can say goodbye to that. Nice. Um, Evelyn wants to know what are the air conditioning units? Are there air conditioning? Is everything, I guess, air conditioned? Cause she wants to know if there are units yeah in the apartment building? Yeah, so it's a great question. And even beyond air conditioning, all, because it's brand new construction, every single residence has its own HVAC and there's no governance on it. If you want it to be 80 degrees in the winter and 60 degrees in the summer, you can do that. So every single residence has its own HVAC. So heating and cooled independently and you're, you know, you're large and in charge on that. You get to make your own decision. That's great, that's great. Mm -hmm. Um, Carol wanted to know, um, if you go away in the summer, can someone watch your apartment? Oh. Amy? Yeah, so, um, you know, again, you cannot sublet it. Um, you can have, Ashley, what's your, you know, it's a, that's a good question. How would you answer that? I'm going to throw that one back to you. No, that's okay. That's quite all right. Ping pong. Um, so, so absolutely. So the, so the kind of the long and the short of that answer is, as I think we spoke a little bit earlier about, you can't actually have someone living in it, but if you mean watch it, that, and you just mean you want to be certain that everything's okay and your plants are watered and, not, you know, no pipes break or anything like that. That's the beauty of retirement living, of community living. The housekeepers will continue to touch base in your apartment once a week just to be certain that everything is okay and there hasn't been any type of leak or any problem. Um, the maintenance staff will be continuing as they do 365 days a year, whether you're there or not, looking at the exterior, being certain that there's no problem. And certainly from a security standpoint, few places are more secure than retirement communities because they have 24 hour um, security with maintenance staff. They have door, you know, someone at the door 24 hours a day. They the entire building is would be locked and only accessible via a fob with the exception of the front door. So I mean, the community is incredibly safe. And even when you look at national statistics of crime, retirement communities are always the very lowest, which is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful attribute, just generally speaking. Broadview will have even heightened because we'll have campus security and on top of all that. So it's like a, a giant layer cake of security for someone that wants to be away from their residence. It's, it's almost fail safe that it'll be well taken care of. And best yet, when you tell us when you're gonna come back, we'll be certain housekeepers go in and run the vacuum and fluff the pillows and it is all ready for you to walk right back into a fresh, sparkling, clean apartment. Wow, that sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had a question about, are you planning on doing it at any of these other programs in New York City universities? Are there plans <laughs> for, for other locations? So, so I will take that question just because um, I've been doing launching these communities for a long time. And, um, and I will say that I'm not currently aware of any other. I, I moved to Westchester for this position because I wanted to be in this part of the community. So I've been looking and watching a long, long time. And I'm not aware of any other communities that are going to be in the city like this. Um, I'm actually not even aware of any other UBRCs. I'm certainly aware of other retirement communities that'll happen in the tri-state area, but other university-based retirement communities, I have no knowledge of any that will be located on the college campus. You should know that sometimes there are communities that call themselves, and they are university-based retirement communities, um, but they might be located in a different location and then you bus in, maybe they're 10 or 15 miles away and they run a shuttle back and forth. And while those are wonderful experiences for sure, and I've worked with some of those, I think there is something uniquely wonderful about physically, geographically being located within the confines of the campus. There's just a different dynamic and energy by that organic, informal relationship of constantly the constant interaction with students because they're literally in your backyard. Um, so that's kind of a long answer to say, no, I'm not familiar with any, doesn't mean there won't ever be any, but I know right now there are none on the docket for ones on a college campus. Thank you. 
I, I also you have that wonderful co space that that mm -hmm. room where people learning comments. Yeah, yes, I, I love that. That's you know a great way to be able to open the doors and really connect with with students and seniors. Sure, uh, sure. We had another question. How are residents' financials vetted? Is it similar to a mortgage approval process? Great question. Tina, Amy, I'll sure. take it. Sure, I'll, I'll definitely. It's, it's, thank goodness it's nothing like a mortgage approval process. <laughs> <laughs> I've been involved in hundreds of transactions um, and purchased many homes myself. Um, it is a quick process. So three things for qualifying here at Broadview is you have to be 62 or above, of course. Um, and then we qualify you financially. And then we uh, also do a wellness exam. It's a little quick exam uh, with our uh, registered nurse, uh, lasts about 10 minutes. So as far as the financials, um, the financial qualification, we can do that in about 15 minutes time. Um, you would each uh, resident or um, hopeful resident would fill out a confidential data application. And that spells out what your assets are you know, what, what's the equity in your home, what's your monthly income, um, and then we run it. So it, it depends on, you know, are you male or female, what's your age as well, um, and what apartment or villa um, have you chosen? So all those variables together runs an actu uh, actuarial, and then we, we know um, within, again, about 10 or 15 minutes once we input all that information, if you're financially qualified. Um, so it's nothing like, you know, submitting documents and, and W-9s and, and, and all that. If you are getting qualified for the below market rate, um, our one bedroom Appawamis, then there are some additional forms. You do have to supply um, two years tax returns and another form, but we could, that's part of the uh, appointment process and, and talking through what those needs are. Perfect. Um, TJ wants to know, is a washer and dryer included in every unit? Amy? Yes, they are. So every every residence comes with its own uh, washer and dryer. And um, as I said, the housekeeping staff will uh, wash and dry your sheets in that washer and dryer and remake your bed and, and uh, fold your towels. Fantastic. Yeah. This has been such a pleasure to have Amy, Ashley, Tina with us and talk about this incredible opportunity for retirement living. And I love it. It's like a secondary career, your post-career world um, and so much here to offer. So, um, you know, what I'd like for each one of you to do, if you wouldn't mind, is just, you know, if, if uh, one of your friends was considering uh, the, to Broadview, um, what would be kind of your special insider tip that you would give about what they should think about or, um, you know, as, as they're thinking about that or, or maybe, you know, a, a benefit maybe you didn't talk about. What can you leave leave our attendees with? Um, you want to take that first, uh, Amy? I see you nodding. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I could go on and on about why. Um, and we all, you know, Ashley and Tina and I always sort of joke that we drank the Kool-Aid. <laughs> um, because we are just firm believers in community living because we've all been in it for a long time and seen the benefits of people who live at these communities of, you know, avoiding isolation, of constant engagement. And to me, the thing that I like to point out to people is the peace of mind, really, that it gives you and, and your family, whether you have kids or don't have kids, both terrific reasons to do this because you are putting a plan in place for yourself. You're not leaving it for somebody else to decide what your future is going to look like. And you get to take advantage of independent living and all the benefits of that and the classes and exercise and friendships made and you know all the outings and community events, cultural events. But should you need ever that higher level of care or just to have supportive staff surrounding you it's really it's the greatest gift you can give your family if you have kids um, and it's the greatest gift you can give yourself because it's putting a plan in your plan in place for yourself and not waiting to make those decisions under duress which is not a happy place to be so that's what I would my takeaway from it would be to you is that um, it's just an invaluable resource for yourself and for your family to have that peace of mind. Terrific. Thank you, Amy. What about you, Tina? I would 
would say come into this um, like the campus, you know, why eyes wide open, you know, some, some of you might be hearing about this for the first time. Um, I've worked in all different levels of senior living with opportunities and 55 plus ass assisted living memory care and independent living. And in a, in a community like this, where there's, there's like and kind from 62 and above, it's a very um, younger um, uh, engaged group. So, um, and there's a lot of similarities. So um, it's a brand new community, which has a vibrancy of its own. Um, and, and plus, uh, you know, being new to the area and, and on a college campus. So there's just wonderful um, energy um, amongst everyone, even our residents that have been here in the area for 30, 40, 50 years, you would think, you know, they've had their set of friends, but they are so eager and excited about coming to the coffees and the updates and, 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 you know, meeting new relationships, you know, new friends, because a lot of maybe their friends have passed or, um, uh, you know, they've moved out of the area to be near their adult children. Um, I know personally with my, my parents down in Florida, you know, it's, it's not the, the senior living that we're, we're all used to or have had in the, in the past. It's a very different environment, especially here at Broadview. So, you know, until they, they needed to go into a, a community and my mother said, boy, I should have done this, you know, years ago because it's very different. So until you actually come and you learn and you listen, um, it's just a wonderful opportunity and, uh, again, great way to, to meet new people in this next lo very long phase of life. Wonderful. Thank you, Tina. Ashley? Sure. So I, um, as I mentioned, I've, I've worked in this, um, field for a long time and I've, I've really come to, to believe this one universal truth. And that is, um, it, not, it doesn't happen for everyone, but if you happen to be at the juncture of your life where you're beginning to look for senior living and you happen to stumble upon a community that is just being launched and, and those two things intersect, boy, are you lucky. Because even though I believe as, as Tina said, and as Amy said, that senior living is always a good idea. I mean, she's right. We do believe it. We, we drank the Kool-Aid. I, I, I've seen firsthand the good thing that happens when people choose community style living, uh, you know, for this chapter of their life. But I will tell you that if you have the opportunity to join a community as it's being launched, that's like magic because you get to be the freshman class. And even if it's not a university, and this actually is a university-based community, but you get to be that freshman class. You get to form those relationships. So Broadview, 20 years from now will still be a fantastic community. But for those people that choose it right now, boy, you have a real opportunity that nobody else will have in terms of being able to draft the resident handbook, in terms of being able to pick out the cabinets and the countertops, in terms of being able to be those that first class of people that form the community, there's a special bond and a special magic that happens in, in these communities. When So, so if, if this is anywhere in your wheelhouse, you made the smartest decision you could make to hop on this webinar today. And just to take a look at investigate because you might find, wow, what a what a wonderful thing to have fallen into my lap. And am I lucky to be in this time and place and space? So that's my two cents. I love it. Thank you so much. Amy, Tina, Ashley, this has been so yeah. wonderful. I really appreciate all of your expertise and sharing with us such an extraordinary place. And I want to thank all of our attendees for spending some of your afternoon with us. Um, this was recorded and it will be available on the Schneps Media YouTube channel in about 48 hours. And um, also we will get out to you tomorrow. We'll get out to you all the contact information uh, of Amy, Ashley, and Tina so that you can be able to get in touch with them and schedule your time with them. And I wish you all to stay safe, stay healthy, and have a very happy holiday. Thanks so Thank much. You so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.